Shut the building down. That's what Blake Griffin's trying uh, to do on his that's first a, dunk. That's a good second place dunk. But still, hey, McGee. That's with what the I said. Two hey, dunks. That's a good second place dunk. Hey, is at number one right now. Hey, Rex. Griffin at two. Ibaka. Welcome back to All-Star Saturday here at the Staples Center. And right in front of me is the big fella, Shaquille O'Neal, who's blogging right now. I'm trying to be nosy, but what did you think about that first round? It was an impressive first round. JaVale McGee did something I've never seen before, but Blake Griffin, special big man. You know, he's one of those big men that only comes around every 10 to 15 years. He's a joy to watch. Thanks, my man. Gotta listen it back to you. All right, we're gonna, uh, once street. again, invite our viewers to log on to NBA.com to catch all the spectacular dunks from tonight. I would say, guys, that is the best first round we have ever seen. Absolutely. I, I think the creativity from all four dunkers far surpasses anything that we've ever seen on this stage. Well, I'm not going to go that far because I can't remember right offhand. I mean, sometimes we all remind you of college then, huh? No. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, how's UCLA going to do an NIT? We're going to the tournament, baby. No, you're not going to the tournament. We, we can't even get y'all on true TV. We're going to the tournament. Jamar DeRozan is... In last place, with the voice is his seventh try. Okay. Get in the building. Gotta get us in the building. The power behind it is nice. The power behind it. The power okay, behind it is nice. Nine. Okay, Doc. Appreciate it. Doc gave him a 10 on that. 46. He got a 46. I tell you what, the kid is impressive. He is. Tell you what, when he learns how to play basketball, it's going to be scary. Because right now he's playing 100% on talent. talent. But when he learns how to play, and what I mean by that folks at home, right now he plays at 100 miles an hour all the time. Right. When he learns to slow it down and go 50, and sometimes even 35, he's going to be scary, y'all. Win the finals. Just to get to the, you know what? Had to go to I mean, he's the best, most exciting. I don't look at him as a rookie. Uh, I hold it against him, for, I mean, because he had like a red shirt year. I know he's the best rookie in the league. But the kid, Landry Fields, is the best career rookie. But this kid is the most exciting player to come into the NBA in a long time. All right, let's go to Cheryl Miller. All right, thanks a lot, Kevin. Well, we're down to our two finalists. Blake, you'll start with the letter A. Javel, you're B. First of all, Blake, this has probably been the best slam dunk we've had in a long time. How difficult is it to be this creative and try things that nobody has done? Well, I mean, it's tough, but, you know, most of the stuff that's possible has already been done. Um, so, you know, the guys are thinking outside of the box now. JaVel did a good job of uh, thinking of some good stuff, so we'll see what we can come up with. JaVel, you're a seven-footer. How much does that put you at a disadvantage as far as in a, in a dunk contest like this? Um, it definitely puts you at a disadvantage because it's a little man's game. And uh, when big men do it, it looks too easy. But as long as I'm really creative, I feel like it'll, it'll come out looking nice. All right, for the fans watching out there and everybody in the arena, A is Blake, B is JaVale, and you can text dunks right now. Start texting. All right, guys, let's get it done. As you take a look right there, the A and the B, or uh, 38, 6, a Kev. 5, 7, yes. When Blake Griffin get in the weight room, he going to have a good body. When he gets into the weight room, yeah. he's not there now. It's no, just like looking in the mirror for me. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> when you gonna get in the weight room, Chuck? I was in there. Look in the weight room. Oh, you know my nickname for you, don't you? What's that? Dark chocolate. Because every time we <laughs> see you before the game, you got your shirt off. That's your that's your stripper name. <laughs> That's impressive right there. It really is. Because when we see this again in super slow, 
You're not going to understand nice. how high he was to put, his, to put his whole arm, arm as his coach, Kenny Smith, says. Look at this right here. Look at the super slow, and look at the arm extension. That's right there at the crease of the elbow. Well, we see, we saw Vince Carter put his elbow on the rim. Wow. But not off a of log. That's but impressive. not off of a log. That's right. I, the one thing that we try to say is power, creativity, along with some ingenuity. That picture right there, if he wins, that picture will be on the cover of a lot of newspapers right there. That one shot with his elbow in the rim. Now you're an editor? I, I yeah, could be. Do it all. I could be. Oh, yes, that's real elbow. Oh, yeah. Hey, Richie, Wait, Richie. Can we get a shot of that? That's real I, elbow. That wasn't, rim elbow that wasn't was I think bad. people that was get, not get that was confused elbow. sometimes. That was Why elbow. is that? Well, I think that people think I'm just on TV because I look good. <laughs> I bring a lot more to the table I than what? Here's Vince's but, dunk. He said you look good. I do. <laughs> I said the infamous word well, is over. What's he doing, Brent? I'm just getting it all in order. You know, because they have no no significance on these last ones. It's all for the fans. Well, Kenny can kiss up with the best of them. <laughs> all right, Kenny, I've heard uh, this next dunk is going to take something through the roof. Is that possible? Well, we've seen a lot of dunks over the dunk, uh, great dunk contest. Look at this panel, extreme panel that we sit here, and we've seen them do everything that you've ever seen. But sometimes you gotta just go a little bit of extra. You gotta go a little bit extra, so can I bring some extra stuff out? We gonna bring the pageantry to the dunk contest. Everybody else bought pageantry. We've seen teddy bears, we've seen cars, things. We need to bring something out. We need to bring it out. <laughs> what are they bringing out? A car. Think? Gotta be a car. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> when you're trying to get somewhere, a lot of times you like to take a, you, you walk, you might take a bike, but sometimes you need to get in a car. Sometimes cars are obstacles. Sometimes they're things that can help you. But tonight, this car is nothing but an obstacle. So just open your mind. <laughs> okay, Flame. <laughs> we at church? Go We're ahead, trying Flame. to get it right. I hear you. <laughs> We're trying to get it right. Open up the minds. I'll tell you what? what. That's a great looking car. That is a good looking car. That is a great looking car. It's getting the glove treatment. The white glove treatment with the handlers putting it out there for Blake Griffin, who with his coach. Yes. Kenny the Jet have come up with a, an extraordinary Stand up, dunk. ladies and gentlemen. Stand up. Stand up, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. Blake, do you believe you can do this? Blake, do you believe you can do this? Blake, you believe you can do this? I don't know, man. I mean, uh, you gotta got believe. Uh, Yo, oh. ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> we have the Crenshaw Elite. Quiet to make it believe. Oh, they got a quiet. Got, I told you. Oh, I told you Kenny was going to church. You need a he good needs to believe. So is Kenny a pastor now? <laughs> I like him jumping over the choir. Oh, they got somebody in the car. <laughs> That's Baron Davis. BD is in the car. This is that Baron Davis. I can't oh, hear man. you. I want to hear the choir though. Let him jump over the choir. I can't hear you. It's not over. We also have a special guest for this dunk. Here he is right here, Baron Davis. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I believe I can fly. I believe I can fly. <laughs> you, got the, you got all the judges standing up. Hold up. You got all the judges standing up. Are you You got all the judges standing up. That's how you know this is in the car. Can he do it? If I can up. see it, then I can do it. Sometimes it's real. Thank you. 
He took off from the bottom half of the circle. You know what? I hate to say this. That wasn't the greatest dunk. But the presentation was pretty fun. Yeah, but listen. That's like when you got a pretty nice. girl. Shadam, it don't matter. <laughs> what? What is going on with you and Kenny this night? <laughs> I'm just Are telling you. Are you kidding me? If a pretty girl is dumb, it don't matter. Look, that was an impressive dunk. That was not. He it's, the pres it's the presentation. Oh, come on now. He I mean, had everyone so, in listen, this building. Serge Ibaka left from the free throw line. I agree. Lines. I agree. He got robbed. He got robbed. This guy leaves from the dotted line. Yeah, the presentation was good. You know, being a black Baptist, anytime you got the choir, it's always good. You know, what's kind of fun about this is uh, he also jumped over the official vehicle of the NBA, the Kia Optima. It That's was, a great looking car. It is a good looking car. I'm so, I'm so glad my mom wasn't here tonight. Honestly, I will say this, Chuck. The pass wasn't where it was supposed to be. The pass was oh, not stop the it, Kenny. I'm not joking. Stop it. I'm not joking. But congratulations, y'all. Thank you. We'll see you in the winner's circle. <laughs> what's up, man? How you doing? Oh, man, what's up? How you doing? See, you said front row. It's all right. Hey, Chuck. It's all right. That's what I said. Welcome back to Saturday All-Star. This is the moment that everyone's been waiting on. The fans have voted online and text messaging. And may I please, please have the envelope. Thank you. What's up, man? Oh, we got a East point. Yes, sir. With 68% of the fans vote from around the world, the 2011 NBA Sprite Slam Dunk Champion is... Los Angeles in the house, Blake Griffin! First of all, let's start with you, Javel. It was a great competition, being a seven-footer and everything else, but just talk about your final dunk. Um, definitely, definitely had a different final dunk, but Serge, he did, he did this dunk I was gonna do. So it really messed me up, but uh, I still came out there hard, and uh, I felt like me, Blake, Serge, and uh, and Demar, we put on the show. All right, and Blake, just talk about tonight and what this means to you, and do you want to dedicate this moment to anyone special? Uh, yeah, I mean, um, uh, I want to dedicate you know this to my friend, uh, my best friend who passed away this past Wednesday. Um, I know he would have been watching me here, so. You know, I dedicate this to him, and I hope I made him proud. You know, so much, and that's really well said, so much pressure coming into this competition for you. Did you ever have any, a chance to just relax and enjoy this moment? Uh, yeah, definitely. I mean, just being out here and having the experience, man, this is something I watched growing up. So, you know, to be able to be out here with these guys was a lot of fun. All right. Well, let's get you that hardware real quick. And presenting the 2011 Sprite Ch Slam Dunk Champion is a showdown champion. Young Hollywood, America's best amateur uh, dunker, last night winning the second annual Sprite Slam Dunk Showdown. I can hear Kenny right now. He'll say it was all coaching. We have to live with him, unfortunately, Kenny. Yeah. <laughs> that was the winner right there. Very entertaining night with a great forcible dunkers.